What's up guys, Admiral Styles here. Alright, so for this video, I was trying to do a viewer request where they wanted me to roleplay Admiral Styles. Yeah, that didn't turn out so good, so I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I will give a little background into Admiral Styles, and I guess we're gonna do a ship tour of the flagship at the moment, which is the USS Sovereign B, NCC 73811. But alright, a little background about Admiral Styles. So, I basically based the character around the Star Trek Bridge Commander campaign or the story where you start off as first officer or commander of the USS Dauntless and then from there you end up being the captain after the previous captain dies in the Vesuvi incident and then from there you become captain of the USS Sovereign. So the Sovereign at some point it either gets destroyed or it gets decommissioned and after becoming admiral i haven't really gone into detail with that yet but eventually i become admiral and i decide to get this ship as my flagship so basically i am an admiral on the field i'm not an admiral at some starbase and this is my flagship the sovereign b i managed to get the name and the registry correct so that's pretty awesome but alright, for this video, we're gonna do an internal ship tour. I'll start from the bridge, and then make my way to the crew section, and then I'll do a tour of engineering. Ah, uh, Wesley Crusher. <laughs> okay, so here we are arriving at the very convenient transporter pad on the bridge. So it's a pretty huge interior, and I actually think the size makes somewhat sense. We have an actual uh, display instead of a window, so that's pretty cool. So why I feel it makes sense for the interior to be so big is that if there's a hull breach, you have time for force fields to go up, like you're not immediately in space. But alright, so here we have, I guess operations or an engineering station, and there's enough for uh, two officers. The space here definitely isn't used too well, and I believe this is more operations or engineering. So this is supposed to be like a cruiser, so there's going to be more engineers than, than science, I guess. Okay, there we have tactical, possibly operations, or helm. Okay, there we have... I forgot what alien this is, what their species is. He's one of my officers. Alright, now that we're at the back of the bridge, we can see Chell, my chief engineer. Um, I originally named him just to be a little funny, and... He was supposed to be from Voyager, but that's not the same gel. And here we have Azri, which was supposed to be Azri Dax, but she's not the same person either. This one is also a Trill, but not the same as Dax. Alright, let's see if we can go to the lower part of the bridge now. Alright, so here we are arriving at the... Not the ready room, but I guess the briefing room. So here we have meetings where we plan missions and at the back of that uh of the room there's a pretty large display where we can pull up star charts and such and then we have more information displays i really like this panoramic window you can see a lot of you can cover a lot of uh, angle or angles <laughs> all right let's go to the captain's ready room all right we're entering the captain's ready room now and there we have access to the Federation's library system and there's I guess the captain's chair and chair for two officers or guests I'm not a fan of the chairs they look pretty old and okay the decoration is pretty bland definitely not my style the room is decently sized up oh, there's the obligational fish tank that like 90% of Federation starships have and there's a window there so I can I guess contemplate on my life's choices. Alright, and uh, I guess the, the couches or the more comfortable seating looks not bad. Oh, I've never set up these trophies. I'm gonna put the Sovereign and the Galaxy class. So, the USS Sovereign and the USS Dauntless. These are two ships I served on with distinction and how I got my rank. Alright, so... Yeah, I'm looking at that painting or portrait, it's really low quality. Alright, let's move on to the crew section of the ship. Okay, we're gonna enter the turbo lift, and we're gonna exit the turbo lift. 
All right, so the ship interior is huge. The turbo lift is decently sized. Like, I think that's fine. But uh, these corridors are huge. The game designers made it this way just because of so many bugs that were happening early on in the game's launch. And they never fixed the ship interiors. All right, so let's see what this first room is. Ah, uh, sick bay. But this sick bay, even though it's huge, it looks very plain. There's not much in here. I'm pretty sure on the show, in Star Trek Picard, if we ever get to see the interior of the Enterprise F, I'm pretty sure it's going to be way more interesting than this. And there's not much else to see here, so let's move on to the, I guess the lounge area, or the ship's version of 10 Forward. Alright, as we enter 10 Forward, we can see how huge and cavernous this room is. And we are greeted by two replicators, uh, some plants, and a nice hanging flag of the Federation. That looks pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, this room is definitely huge. I do like the fact that in this seating area here, these windows are huge. So it's not a bad place to go on a date or just hang out with friends and just, I don't know, spending a couple hours just talking. Although, I can't imagine how unsettling it would be if a couple of Borg cubes just dropped out of warp right in front of you or some other horrific aliens. Alright, let's move on to another section. So if you go up here, there's a bit of a more private area. Oh, some ugly vases. And this is a more intimate area for uh, playing games or... I don't know, yeah, just playing games. You wouldn't do much else here. And then some seating for people waiting for the games table. Alright, yeah, these vases, I, I cannot edit what's there, so that's just gonna stay there. Um, let's see what else we have. More replicators. Here we have the galley, and there's somebody cooking there. Ah, the chef. Let's see what's on the menu. Okay, some pretty generic stuff. Nothing groundbreaking. Alright, so here we have where you can decorate your, uh, your version of 10 forward with, I guess, trophies you've had on your various missions. You can see I don't spend much time in the interior of my ship since there's nothing here. <laughs> But, uh, alright, let's maybe do one more and then move on to the captain's quarters. Not bad, that Klingon trophy looks really nice. Alright, let's move on to the captain's quarters. Okay, now we're entering the captain's quarters. And yeah, this is another huge cavernous room, but not as huge as 10 forward. Alright, we have some, uh, I guess we can have food on here we can eat gather around maybe play some games and then we have a whole bunch of lounge seating here i guess this uh ship is designed for the captain to have not the ship i guess the quarters are designed for the captain to host parties and perhaps dignitaries although these don't look exactly luxurious or comfortable and i don't like the color I would prefer a more black or white uh, leather or similar feeling material. And more of these low quality portraits or paintings on the walls. And then I guess you're going to have a party administrator <laughs> or security depending what's going on in here. Alright, let's move on into the bed area. Okay, now we are in the bed area and I feel like there is so much wasted space here. And okay, that painting is actually not that bad. It looks okay. The decoration I don't like, and the bed is... I mean, I guess this these interiors were designed so long ago and they have not been updated, so they look a bit dated graphics-wise. I don't like that, whatever this is. All right, and we don't have access to the bathroom or the sonic shower, so I can't show that. But alright, let's move on to the engineering section. Alright, our first stop is going to be the transporter room, which is right here to the left. Alright, um... That transporter pad looks very tall. <laughs> There's a lot of space there. And we have the door, which is pretty small, so... I'm pretty sure we're never going to use all that space to beam something in, because it would never go through the door anyway. But I guess if we're holding something and... I don't know, but that sizing doesn't make any sense. 
All right, let's move on to main engineering if I can find the door. <laughs> uh, these corridors are more appropriately sized compared to other parts of the ship, but I would still shrink this about 30, maybe 35%. Oh, I see. So when the floor changes uh, its appearance, it'll be a place where you can enter a room. And wow, the quality of the warp core and engineering is really bad. This looks exactly like what it looked like when the game first launched back like, what, 10 years ago? 15 years ago? I forgot how long ago this game uh, came out at. Um, I cannot even properly English right now how disappointed I am. <laughs> I have not seen a war core this bad in so long. I guess they reserve the proper, or rather the updated interiors for the cutscenes and special missions where they actually bring the real actors to do the voice acting. And by real actors, I mean the ones that actually played their roles in the Star Trek shows. But yeah, this is pretty disappointing. I wish they would update this because the engineering section in the USS Enterprise F from the Mirror Universe looks really good. So I wish they had used that here. All right, we're just gonna move on. This is really disappointing. Let's move on to the next room. All right, let's see what we have here. Oh, this is labeled an engineering lab. It looks okay, not bad. Plenty of consoles, although I don't see any, I don't see plenty of workstations where you can work on stuff, and I believe that's a quantum singularity core. Yeah, I think that's what that is. I'm not too sure though, but that would make sense. And here we have one very small engineering, where you can actually engineer something, but it's pretty small. <laughs> All right, let's see if there's anything else to see on this ship. I think there's one more room here. I can see it on the mini map. Unless that's the... No, that's just the turbo lift. Yep, turbo lift. Alright, we're back on the bridge. I'm gonna take my seat at the captain's chair. And we're gonna end this video here shortly. Alright, that was a pretty cool break from the uh, usual bridge commander battle videos. I definitely want to do more videos like this where... It's not always bridge commander battles. I do enjoy making videos about other stuff, but I wanna make sure it's stuff that you guys enjoy. So if you have any video suggestions, feel free to drop them in the comment section. Ah, uh, I was gonna do a tour of Andoria, but it looks like we have orders to meet the Enterprise at the Pavo system. So we're gonna have to cut this here. Well guys, if you enjoyed the video, thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you on the next one. Admiral Styles out.